Hello, Steve White, Steve White's 89. Well, good news for Quantum Leap fans. They have renewed Quantum Leap, the reboot series, for a second season. Uh, the Deadline article reads, NBC renewed hit freshman series Quantum Leap, its reboot of the popular 1990s science fiction drama, for a second season, the network announced Monday. The renewal comes midway through the season, series' first season, which has solid ratings, starring Raymond Lee, the Quantum Leap pilot, is currently up to a 2.0 rating in the 18 to 49 demo and 10.8 million viewers across linear, digital and streaming platforms. According to Nelson and the network, the reboot is NBC's best ever drama launch on Peacock and is the number two broadcast show on the season of the season in the 18 to 49 demo. So a lot of people saying it wasn't rating and it wasn't going to get another season. I think they might have been wrong. Um, we're leaping into a second season thanks to the incredible work by our cast, producers, writers and everyone who has played a role in giving this iconic NBC series a new life, said Liz Katz, President Scripted Content, NBC Universal Television and Streaming. As we continue to bring audiences to our must-watch dramas, it's gratifying to know Quantum Leap will have a prominent place next season, both on our NBC schedule and the next day on Peacock. The season one logline, it's been 30 years since Dr. Sam Beckett stepped into the Quantum Leap Accelerator and vanished. Now a new team has been assembled to restart the project in hopes of understanding the mysteries behind the machine and the man who created it. In addition to Lee, Quantum Leap stars Ernie Hudson, Caitlin Bassett, Mason Alexander-Park and Nerissa Lee. Martin Duro serves as executive producer along with G Dean Jagaras. Don Bess, I can't pronounce these names, a whole bunch of people, and they're just quoting all the people who made the show. That's basically the end of the article. So, not a lot there, other than we've renewed it. It's doing well in the ratings. We're happy with it. Um, a lot of the people who are trashing it, um, I think it was mostly racism, because, oh no, they had an Asian lead, and we can't have that. So, yeah. Um, I've been enjoying the series. Uh, I was surprised it went on hiatus. I've sort of been missing it the last few weeks. Um, I was expecting it to get a season two, but, you know, it is a little bit tricky with these things. It is a genre show in that every episode is supposed to be set in a different time period, which costs money. So it's not a cheap series by by any means. So I was wondering if it would rate well enough to justify the expense, because um, it's not just another cheap reality show, which is usually <laughs> all that gets renewed, it seems. But um, I'm happy to see this. And I just wanted to make a video about it because I just wanted to share it. Um, but there's not a lot of actual news behind it. I mean, it's pretty simple. We're happy. We're doing more. And hopefully, you know, the audience will enjoy it. Hopefully they will, you know, keep being consistent. Because um, I've enjoyed pretty much every episode. And, yeah, a few, aside from a few tiny little things, which comes from, you know, just any show with script writing and that, it's been pretty good. But I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.